and the government is to meet the National House of Chiefs over the yes or no vote campaign controversy by some members of the House. This was disclosed by the Chieftaincy and Religious Affairs Minister in Accra on Wednesday. Salam Amenya has more. President of the National House of Chiefs, Togwi Afada the 14th, and his vice, Dasibre Nana Kwekwewusi the 7th, in a statement on Friday, November 15, indicated the traditional rulers backed a no vote advocating the outright rejection of the proposal to amend Article 55 3 of the Constitution. But the Omahene of Sifri Amyansu and President of the Western Regional House of Chiefs, Ojiahohuo Nana Yao Jebi II, who is also the Governance Committee Chairman, disputed the statement. President of the Eastern Regional House of Chiefs, Osajifu Amwetia of Furipeni II, also waded into the controversy, insisting the heads of the regional houses were not consulted before the decision was made. But the sector minister says government will meet the National House of Chiefs on Wednesday, December 12, on the matter. We have started engaging the president, the vice president of the National House of Chiefs, and uh, very soon, on the 12th of December, they will be having the National House of Chiefs meeting in Kumasi, and will be there to engage them before the referendum. On chieftaincy disputes, he noted 142 cases have been resolved, leaving 360 pending. When I took office as the Minister for Chieftaincy, at that time, there were 350 chieftaincy disputes across the country. After three years, we've been able to resolve 142 chieftaincy disputes. But as I stand here, we still have 360 chieftaincy disputes to resolve. So it simply means that it is increasing more than we can handle. One of the challenges that we have is to fund the judicial committees enough so that they can sit on the cases and adjudicate on them as quickly as possible.